So as we move into the artists of precisionism, we need to deal with Charles de Muth. Now, Charles de Muth is acclaimed for his Cubist-derived paintings of American cityscapes, as well as his sensuous, richly colored watercolors of still life and figure groups. Here we're going to be dealing primarily with his landscapes and one of his other works. He becomes closely associated with, wait for it, Stieglitz uh, and Alfred Stieglitz's Circle of American Modernists. In 1917, DeMuth, as well as uh, Hartley, spent time in Bermuda with the French Cubist painter Albert uh, Gillez. DeMuth's precisionist style emerged soon thereafter in watercolor, tempera, and oil depictions of his architectural and industrial surroundings. Now, very quickly, he turns to Cubism, and he's attracted to its use of planes, describing boundaries and directions of form and space, which gave him a chance to make out of geometry and its meaning for art something personal by combining the austerity of ruled lines and the planes and angles with his own special gift for flowing, fascinating color. So he's mixing these ideas of cubist line and those cubist planes of color that we're used to seeing and mixing it with his own ideas of color theory to create something new. He knows also the value of suggestion and isolates fragments which suggest how the rest of the big world could be seen after the same fashion. So what he's doing is he's creating elements that run off the page and that seem isolated except that they give us a hint of what the rest of the page might look like, what the rest of the piece might look like. And the first piece we're looking at is actually, I saw the figure five in gold. This is a very famous piece that DeMuth creates. And obviously this is neither architecture nor strictly speaking portrait, but something very different. So he completed eight abstract portraits between 1924 and 1929. And these were tributes to modern American artists, writers and performers. So this is a, an abstract portrait, but unlike what you would consider an abstract portrait, maybe something from the Cubists, something from the Fauves, instead what we have is capturing the idea of a person or a specific element of a person, trying to capture their character rather than their likeness. Because really, especially once you pass on, your likeness is completely irrelevant. It's really who you are that you want people to remember. So that's what DeMuth is focusing on. So in this case, though it's not a physical likeness, he creates this portrait of his friend, the poet and physician, William Carlos Williams, using imagery from Williams' poem, The Great Figure, which evokes the sights and sounds of a fire engine speeding down the street. So we get the idea of this fire engine coming closer and closer and closer, almost running right into us, invading our space as the viewer. The intersecting lines and repeated five, the round forms of the numbers, the lights, the street lamp, and the blaring siren of the red fire engine together infuse the painting with a vibrant and urban energy. You really look at it and you can just imagine the sound of this fire engine running down the road, possibly running directly at us, but also he gives us enough of an element, enough of a city that you can imagine the echoes off the building. You can imagine the rattles as this truck goes down the road. You can imagine a busy cityscape where this might be happening. So what he's doing is he's creating this portrait of a person based on what they're best known for, in this case, a piece of poetry. So he's almost creating a portrait of the poem as a reflection of the person. Kind of an interesting way of looking at portraiture and one that would serve someone well if that's a direction you wanted to go. Because I think even today, this sort of portraiture would be particularly interesting, although you don't need to use the cubist elements. So here you can see there's these planes of color and the way he interprets it is different values of color. So different lightness and darkness in specific planes. So this might be a really good idea if you're into graphic design, if you're into portraiture, something that you could 
capture and use to your advantage, creating something very different from what anyone else really creates today. 